Hi guys, I'm sure some of you have seen my trailer on quote unquote fixing the graphics of Warcraft 3 Reforged. So this is what my game looks like right now and I'm going to show you guys how to get your game to look something like this. This includes custom textures, some of my own personal edits, custom models, custom foliage and most of the heavy lifting here is done by the quenching mods shaders which I will show you how to install as well. Now uh, this guide is extremely customizable. You can pick and choose which you want to install and which things you do not want to install. So there's no fixed way of doing this but of course I will give you my personal opinion on what I think looks best. You can tailor your game to work well with a campaign mission like what I'm doing now so the cutscenes don't look really goofy and awkward or you know like some people they complained about unit readability and that it's hard to read the units and tell units apart from one another or sometimes they camouflage with the terrain if you want to install your own custom units this guide will cover that as well and UI edits as you can see this isn't the default Warcraft 3 reforged UI it's my own personal modification of the quenching UI in which that you know I added my own uh, border frame and it's much smaller than your regular Warcraft 3 reforged UI with that being said please watch and enjoy the video leave a like if you like it and subscribe if you can. I can't promise I'm going to put up more content always because I have a full-time job and that is my you know, highest priority first and foremost. But during my free time, I like to put out some modding videos and guides every now and then. So the first thing we need to do is install the quenching mod. Well, download the quenching mod first. I will show you guys how to do that right now. So once we reach the quenching mod website, what we want to do is scroll down. We don't want to install the client. That's uh, sort of like an installer that will download each file one by one and I find it to be extremely messy. What we want to do is do a manual install. So we will download the full version. Uh, as of 2023 in October the 8th, it's 2.2, I believe. Version 2.3 will be released soon. So, you know, by the time I release this video, things might have changed, but you get the general idea. What you'd want to go for is the full version. So go ahead and download that. Now first we, what we have to do is open up RegEdit which is our registry editor. Just type it in the search bar, hit enter. Now once you've opened RegEdit, so I think you probably start off with computer right here. So go to HKey current user, expand up to software find Blizzard Entertainment, find Warcraft 3 within Blizzard Entertainment. Now if you have anything inside here with the word quenching or whatnot, delete that. If you already have allow local files, just double click on that. Sorry, uh, right click on that, modify and make sure it's set to 1. If you do not have the allow local files, let's say it's not there. Just giving you an example, just right click on the blank space, new double word, 32 bit value, allow local files, right click modify data and put it to one. And that's it. Just make sure you have that step or nothing in this tutorial is going to work. Now, another thing that you need to check is that your Warcraft 3 Reforged is a clean install. Go into the retail folder. There's only 
two things that need to be inside here, which is x86 underscore 64 and flavor.info. Delete everything else because we want to start clean. So this is what your retail folder should look like at the very beginning. So once you've done your registry edits, once you've cleaned your retail folder, then we can start. Now, after you have downloaded Quenching 2.2, what you want to do is extract it. And we are going to do this whole process manually. Fire up Warcraft 3 Reforged. This will be a bit of a good testing ground. So what I like to do is I go to single player. I go to custom games and I choose uh, Booty Bay, create a map and we'll go with human and this one can be random. I like to pick the color red. Okay, and then we start the game because I'm trying to show a bit of a before after comparison. So this is how our default Warcraft 3 Reforged looks like. And this is without any shaders or quenching textures and whatnot. So what we're going to do here is we're not going to completely install every single aspect of the quenching mod because there are some aspects of the mod that work and some aspects of that mod that don't work or at least it doesn't work to my liking. You're free to experiment with it, of course, but I'm just giving you what I personally picked as well as my suggestions. So this is what it looks like. So let's exit the game. And what we're going to do next is download the My Reforge Texture Edits and some quenching tweaks. This is meant to replace the textures of the terrain as well as some tweaks to the foliage and whatnot. So go ahead and download that. Once you have downloaded that, what you need to do is this guy here, Reforge Texture Edits and Quenching Tweaks, 7-zip or whatever you have there, extract it. Now, uh, open up the folder and go inside here. First, we're going to go into Ashfield's Reforged Texture Edits. Uh, to install this, simply copy the two folders. Go into your retail folder of Warcraft 3. Remember, here's where the executable is. You'll want to go into retail and paste those folders here. And of course, you can test it out. And you can see the terrain textures have changed. Now, I didn't make um, very drastic changes. I did a bit of um, recoloring, for the, for the lack of a better term. Uh, of course, you can't really see that big of a difference yet, because the foliage is still turned on. We are going to change the grass afterwards. However, if you notice, the trees have also changed color a little bit to make it blend more with the terrain. So this is just the first step. It might not look like that big of a change right now, but you will see it in a bit. Now we go to the Reforged Texture Edits again. And this time we go to Ashfield's Quenching Edits. We go inside there. Now this this depends on what you want to do. Uh, whether you want the quenching HD shader, whether you want only the foliage shader, or you want to use the bloom shaders as well. I'll explain all this in a bit, but first, because we are we haven't installed any quenching shaders yet, this is what we're going to do. We're going to take the if only using foliage quenching shaders copy the environment folder and go to the retail 
again paste it here and this is where the quenching shader magic will do its trick we haven't installed any shaders mind you not even the foliage shader what's gonna happen here is we are going to change some models of the grass as well as a foliage description of what model to use for each type of grass for each type of terrain so with that being said let us start the game now notice how the grass has changed they are more uh, taller I guess and the flowers are more prevalent right this is the new grass models and textures. Now what we're going to do next is quote unquote, install the foliage shader, which will add some shadowing effects to the grass. So I'll show you how to do that. Remember the quenching mod we downloaded earlier and we extracted it. Let's go into that folder and search for shaders. Copy that shader folder into your retail folder. Once inside there, delete this VS folder. This shader right here is extremely buggy and it causes the terrain to glitch out. In fact, it doesn't really change all that much. It adds a stencil effect to the terrain. And I, I say just get rid of it. It's extremely glitchy. So let's delete that. What we're going to do is go into the PS folder. Now, here's what we want to do. If you're using AMD, an AMD graphics card, copy these two files and paste it here. If you're using NVIDIA, like I am, copy these two files and paste it here and replace when prompted. Now, Here's what we're going to do. Delete this shader, Cliff Blight Miscellaneous Terrain. Delete SD on HD. Delete terrain.bls. Delete these three. We are not going to use it. So what we should have is Bloom Extract, Foliage, Gaussian Blur, and HD. Do not worry about the UI original and UI quenching. We will get to that later and I'll show you why. Now right now, we if you only want to use the foliage shaders, do this. I just like to put a disc at the front. So it's kind of like the game doesn't recognize uh, the bloom extract.bls and it will use the default in-games bloom extract.bls same thing with the gaussian blur gaussian blur and bloom extract always have to go hand in hand if you enable bloom extract you have to enable gaussian blur if you disable gaussian blur you have to disable bloom extract hd again disable that i'll show you what each of these shaders do don't worry so let's start with foliage let's only have the foliage shaders on you now have a darker shade of green for the darker patch of grass the grass now has shadows in fact you can zoom in you can see there's some ambient occlusion going on here that's what the foliage shader does so let's show what the other shaders do now to enable the other shaders it's very simple just um, remove the this we'll start with the bloom shader just so uncomment bloom extract and gaussian blur keep the hd1 disabled because i'll show you why and there you go this is what the bloom shader does it makes everything a lot shinier gives it a more high fantasy feel and the reason why i have a separate folder for bloom shaders for the environment map and whatnot 
is because this shader can make things a little too bright. So if you find these a little too bright, then what you can do is copy that other folder, which is what I'm going to show you right now. So we're going to Reforge Texture Edits, and we're going to Ashfield's Quenching Edits. Now, if using foliage and bloom quenching shaders. Yeah, so what we're gonna have here is this file called nightibl.dds. So one of the issues with the bloom shader is that the nights still appear to be kind of bright. So sometimes it can be a little hard to tell the difference between day and night. What this will do is kind of counteract what the bloom shader does at night so things will actually appear to be dark so let's go ahead and copy that we copy the environment folder into our retail replace the files now try the game okay things largely remain the same but now let's um, change this to nighttime. Maybe we put it at Notice how things got darker and the color started to change. And we change it back to daytime. And things get bright again. So that's just a demonstration of what it does. Now let's see what the hd.bls shader does pay attention to the town hall pay attention to the gold mine pay attention to the trees and pay attention to the workers or is it peasants yeah notice how all they're bright and lit this is purely a personal preference i personally don't like to use the hd.bls shader but if you do want to use that here's how to do it so in your retail folder, inside shaders, PS, simple, remove the disk and try again. So this is how it looks like this time. Notice there's a lot more shadowing and I would say shading basically. The gold mine has a bit more of a contour and um, the peasants have a bit more realistic lighting and the trees have a nice shading effect to them. Now I personally do not really fancy this. I think it makes everything look a little too dark but hey it's up to you. Anyway if you want to know what it looks like at night there we go So it looks really nice and dark at night. And then at daybreak. There we go. So personally, I don't like to use this HD.BLS shader. But hey, some people like it, some people don't. I don't like it. Up to you. You can choose to use it or not. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to disable this. Let's put a this hg.bls and yeah that's pretty much it for the graphics and the textures so yeah this is what the game looks like with all these shaders and terrain modifications We will move on to units and readability as well as the UI shortly. Okay, so now for uh, Warcraft 3 Rebirth, 
we want to take the SD units from Warcraft 3 Rebirth. So first we'll download the mod, go to the mod page and click on files. And once you've gone into files, download this one, 9th release. And once you've downloaded that, download the cold fix. So once you've downloaded those files, you should see two uh, archives, 9th release and fixes last 2023. So let's just go ahead and extract that. Right. And then extract fixes latest 2023. Now what we want to do is take the fixes, um, copy buildings, doodads, and go back into your ninth release and replace the files when prompted. Now, uh, here's what we're going to do. We are going to take the folder buildings, uh, Kuzan, new textures, objects, texture, textures, units, and we are going to copy that into our retail folder. Okay, now what we're going to do, we go back into our ninth release and you don't have to copy these two files, but everything else, I like to sort it by type because you'll have TGA files and BLP files. And basically just copy everything. into retail okay now if you want to see how this looks like you can always test it let's do that now you see we have Warcraft 3 rebirth models and buildings and whatnot on Warcraft 3 reforged terrain so this is something um, I do need to point out because this does require a little bit of fine-tuning and I'll show you why. So let's just cheat for a bit. Now I want you to pay attention to the size or the scale of these units. So far they're pretty okay I guess. Now the problem comes with the spellbreaker and other units as well, but I want to demonstrate it with the Spellbreaker. Look at this. This thing is gigantic. However, if you use this model in classic mode, it's actually smaller and it's just the right size. But for some reason in Reforged, it's really, really huge. It almost looks like a hero unit. Speaking of hero units, let's train one. And there is one hero unit that is problematic. It's the Mountain King. You will see why. Look at that. So clearly, um, the Rebirth models don't work all too well in Reforged. Which is why I went through each of the model files, at least for the important units, uh, that are available in melee mode. I went through them one by one and resized them accordingly and I made some personal touches of my own. So that's what we're going to install next. Okay, so the next one we want to install is uh, my edits for Warcraft 3 Rebirth with the Mountain King fix. And it's not only a Mountain King that I edited, I edited quite a number of models including the Blood Elf Mage, as you can see here, the Rebirth model, it's red everywhere and the team color, blue in this case, is only at the, I don't know, the headrest? So one of the edits I made was I made the collar become the team color as well. And I also kind of inverted the color of the priest. 
uh, the priest's cloak so you can tell the difference much easier between a sorceress and a priest. I also made the sniper a little shorter than the footman. And as you can see, uh, I made the uh, spell thief smaller. And I also resized the uh, horseman. Oh, just in case you guys didn't know, the before and after is only a comparison between the heroes, the Blood Elf Mage and the Mountain King. Uh, both the before and after contain already contained my edits for all the other units. So yeah, and as you can see, the Mountain King here has been fixed. So go ahead and download that. Alright, so this file, units.zip, that's the one we want. It's the one we've downloaded. So this time just, yeah, just copy the units folder straight into your retail folder and replace when prompted. Okay, so this is how my game looks like after my personal edits to the reforged, I'm sorry, rebirth models. Uh, I've removed the skirt from the footman because I wanted it to look closer to the classic model. And I've also increased the size of the shield because that's the thing that's that your eye catches the most when it comes to the footman. And of course the mountain king those weird glitchy textures have been removed so there we go and of course uh, the blood elf spell thief is now the correct size you know it's no longer a towering uh, giant so yeah here's how it looks like with the rebirth models I'm not sure what my opponent chose let's see how it looks like for him ah night elves Okay, so there we go. This is the Night Elf Rebirth models. Of course, feel free to install it yourself and experiment with it and see what you like. If you like the Reforged models or the Rebirth models. Now, uh, people talk about unit readability, right? Here's my opinion. I feel like it wasn't only the models that were problematic in Reforged when it came to readability. Oh, whoa, what just happened there? Uh, I also think that the terrain plays a part. Because the models in Reforged were high fidelity. And the terrain right now is also high fidelity. So what, you, what happens is you get a high fidelity model against a high fidelity terrain and sometimes it could get difficult to pick out which unit is which or even within the terrain because it kind of camouflages with the terrain. I think this problem still kind of persists with the rebirth models. So let, like you can see how much easier it becomes when you turn the foliage off. You see how much easier it becomes? Everything looks a lot more flat and you can actually see what's going on. However, even then, these textures themselves are very, very detailed. They are highly detailed grass textures. So I did something a little weird. I took the rebirth textures and try to create my own terrain set with the rebirth textures. It didn't really work out all that well, but I did upload it. And if you guys want to use it, go ahead. But I don't know, this one is very hit or miss. The opinions may be divided, but I will show you what it looks like and how to install it. So if you want to install this custom terrain. Uh, 
download the one some rebirth terrain textures for reforged now it will basically make your terrain look something like this so as you can see it isn't so high fidelity but it is a flat looking terrain texture with some high contrast models which makes it really easy to pick up you know what units are on the battlefield and whatnot so go ahead and download that and once you have downloaded it same thing um, this time I think it should be rebirth underscore reforged Now inside this rebirth underscore reforged, uh, going to the hots mode, you can ignore this units because we've already installed my Warcraft 3 rebirth model edits. What we want to focus on is terrain art and replaceable textures. What you want to do is open up your retail folder, delete, uh, what was that, replaceable, do, remember do not this is not a case of replacing, you have to do it fresh. So delete replaceable textures, delete terrain art, and then use these ones. And paste them, oops. And paste them in here. So let's see what that looks like. And there we go. That's how the terrain looks like. As you can see, there are a bit of problems. The most obvious one being the seams. You can see a bit of tiling. Now, the funny thing is, even in Warcraft 3 Classic, if you play it on a high resolution, you do see the texture lines. It's also more noticeable on the cliff. I did, the thing is, this one took up a lot of time. In fact, it took up so much time that I didn't really have, I mean, it's the main reason for the delay of this video, actually. I was experimenting and toying around so much. So as you can see, obvious texture seams here. Because these textures are meant for Warcraft 3 Classic. All I did was um, upscale these textures. And guys, forgive me if this video is kind of lag spiky, like stuttery, because I think my hard disk is getting full, but never mind, that's beside the point. So this is how it looks like. Uh, I can also show you how the other uh, terrain textures look like. Again, this is personal preference. The goal of this was to create a flat looking terrain so the units stand out a lot more. And of course, with this setup, I highly suggest you turn off the foliage because turning it on, it looks bad. This foliage setup is meant for reforged textures, not a very flattened rebirth one okay so now the question is how about if we want to use not rebirth models but we want to use models from Warcraft 3 classic well you can uh, do keep in mind that the models you bring from Classic will have the same scaling issues that you saw earlier with the gigantic 
uh, spell thief. Although they are not all too common, but it's noticeable when you see it. You know, all your footmen and snipers, riflemen are cute and small. And then you see this giant spell thief. It can be a little jarring. And I just didn't have the time to go over each model and resize them like I did for Rebirth. So if anyone wants to do that, go ahead. <laughs> And upload it and share it or whatever, okay? Uh, I think the community will thank you for it. So, uh, where was I? Yeah, classic. Now, before that, what I want to do is delete the rebirth models because we want to try out the classic Warcraft 3 models, right? So we delete units, we delete new textures, Kuzan, buildings, Objects, textures, texture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven. Okay. Then we delete. Here you have to be a little careful. There's an important file here which you should not delete. That is why I suggest sorting by type and Delete all the TGA files. So this is all okay to be deleted. Oops, you saw that? Okay, do not delete this one. Flavor.info is part of the Warcraft 3 reforged, um, you know, the default file. It should be there. Otherwise, the game will verify your files and report some errors or whatnot. Uh, so delete the TGA files. Let's delete all of those. Once the TGA files are deleted, we can delete this guy. Oops. We can delete this and all the BLP files. This is how you do a clean uninstall of um, Warcraft 3 Rebirth, whatever units and whatnot. Now, uh, what I want to do is restore the old, or at least restore my edited reforged terrain textures instead of the rebirth textures basically I want the more detailed terrain back just for demonstration purposes same thing delete replaceable textures delete terrain art and then go back to the reforged texture edits quenching tweaks going to reforged texture edits Copy terrain art and replaceable textures. And we are now back to default. Well, at least where we were previously before we installed Warcraft 3 Rebirth, of course. So, next up, I'll show you how to install classic Warcraft 3 textures into Warcraft 3 Reforged. Now, I don't think I'm allowed to just upload the actual Blizzard models. So, I'll show you how to extract files from Warcraft 3's database. For that, you need the software called Cask View. Okay, now with the Cask View uh, website, what you want to do is go to this one here with the icon, Cask and download cask view for windows okay now that we have cask viewer what you want to do is extract it and um, depending on what version of windows you're using most of us are using 64 bit at this point okay so we open up cask view we go to open storage my bad okay we go to game storage. It should be able to detect your Warcraft 3 reforged installation. Next, uh, what we want to do is go into war3.w3mod. So the reforged files are located in underscore hd.w3mod, but we want the classic models. So the classic models are in this folder itself. So let's go ahead and extract units 
So in the extract files window comes up, just um, hit OK. And remember, it will create a new folder called work in your cask view subdirectory. That's where all the files would be extracted to. Okay. Now that that's extracted, we also want buildings. Same thing. Now look into the work directory inside war3.w3mod. Copy these two files and we go into Baldur's. I'm sorry, <laughs> retail. And we paste those files there. Okay. And there we go. Uh, we have classic Warcraft 3 models on reforged terrain. And let's see how it goes. Of course, uh, if you want to turn on the foliage, I recommend turning it off if you're using the classic models because Warcraft 3 Classic didn't have any of these foliage effects. But actually, it still looks pretty okay. It still looks pretty okay. And there we go. That's the classic models. And I think they look nice. However, remember the problem I told you about the proportions? Well, that exists as well. Uh, so I'll create the spell thief just so you guys can have a look. Now, I know what you guys might be thinking, at least some of you. Uh, the glowing effect from the shaders, it's a little too bright and it makes the red look like, I don't know, pinkish? You can always get rid of that by disabling the shader. So if you want to do that for a more saturated look, a more darker look, go ahead and do that. Uh, okay, I just got the keep. Now I need to build the arcane sanctum so I can train the spell thief. Okay. Uh, let's train the spell breaker. Look at that. So the proportion is still the proportion problem is still there. It's just that I haven't made a I haven't made a model pack to resize this guy. Uh, and frankly, if I did spend time on this, this video will take forever to make. I already spent way too much time editing textures and models for this video. Uh, let's just see. I forgot how the sorceress and priest look like. Okay, not too bad. And here's the priest. Yeah, this is the Frozen Throne Priest model. In Reign of Chaos, it's white and the patterns are colored. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Let me just change this to daytime. Eight. So now, if you're playing melee games, sure, you can use the Rebirth models or the Classic models. However, for campaign, I highly recommend against it because you get scenes that look incredibly goofy. So let me show you what I mean. <laughs> Welcome, Prince Arthas. The men and I are honored by your presence. Can the formalities, Uther. I'm not king yet. It's good to see you. Welcome, Prince Arthas. The men and I are honored by your presence. Can the formalities, Uther. I'm not king yet. It's good to see you. Bless you, Prince Arthas. But what about the others who were taken away? Don't worry, son. We'll find them and bring them home safe. Prince Arthas, Lord Uther needs you at the Orc encampment immediately. Never a dull moment. Let's get moving.
Bless you, Prince Arthas. But what about the others who were taken away? Don't worry, son. We'll find them and bring them home safe. Prince Arthas, Lord Uther needs you at the Orc encampment immediately. Never a dull moment. Let's get moving. Now the next thing I want to talk about is the UI. So the quenching mod has its own, uh, it comes with its own uh, UI. So if we go into here, we go into the UI folder, you have three options to choose from. Before that, let's just copy the entire UI folder. Okay, uh, this isn't going to change anything because it's the folders inside here. The idea is uh, to copy the contents inside here into the root of your UI folder. So UI original is your default Warcraft 3 Reforged. In fact, this folder isn't even necessary because, you know, if you don't have any UI folder in your retail folder, it's going to use the original UI. So we can delete that. This is redundant. Now, you have two options. Blizzard UI, which is something that is meant to look similar to what was shown at BlizzCon, which is something like this. This thing here is supposed to be transparent. Right? You should see Arthas's head here and the background should be transparent. But right now, the background isn't transparent. It's a big, solid square. And that might be jarring for some people. The way to solve this is, unfortunately, if you do not like using the HD shader, you have to use the HD.PLS shader. There's no other way. So here's how to do it. So, in your retail folder, go into shaders, PS, now, go into UI-quenching, copy the hd.bls, and paste it here. Okay. I just disabled this version, because you need the UI version of the hd.bls. So let's see how it looks like now. There we go. A transparent background and a rather nice looking UI I would say and where is the peasant we can see it here now this doesn't mean there aren't problems though look at this footman this footman right here the feather on top of his helmet it's clipping it's clipping so this is a major problem I have with this um, UI. And it's the same thing with the quenching UI as well, which is just another variation of it. I can show you what it looks like in a bit. But one way to fix it is there are model files in the quenching mod that reposition these models so they don't clip, but it is not complete. Here's what I mean. Let me show you. So going to the quenching mod, look for units. Well, actually, just copy over the whole units folder. Now, this doesn't mean it's complete, though, but let me give you an example. So let's go to... You have to do this one by one, unfortunately. Going to human. Let's go with Arthas. So, this is a tedious process. You have to do this one by one. Arthas underscore portrait dot mdx dash half. Replace it to just Arthas underscore portrait. And then, uh, remember the footman? You actually have to do this for every single one. The footman, same thing. I'll show you what difference it makes. Uh, one one more thing you'll have to copy over is one more thing you'll have to copy over is textures.
And there we go. Um, we have Arthas um, repositioned to look like his BlizzCon 2018 counterpart. Your Honor. Um, the Knight is still the default one because we didn't rename it from MDX half to MDX. But the Footman, you see, now they've repositioned his um, portrait. So it actually displays the character nicely. And I believe it's the same for... Wait, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, the peasants are not modified because I haven't renamed it. But here's the thing. Not every unit is complete. So it's a mismatch. And I don't like it, to be honest. If it's perfectly complete and everything has a nice transparent model, it's fine. But the issue is... It doesn't, you see? Oh. Now let me show you what the quenching UI looks like. Of course, because I don't think uh, people's muscle memories are gonna get used to this, right? They're more used to seeing the spells here. Sorry, the inventory here and the spells on this side, which is a little weird, which is what the, qu the quenching UI is trying to address the best of both worlds. A smaller UI, but at the same time, retaining the functionality of the original UI because the reforged UI is still too big even for my taste so let's go back into the UI folder uh, we shall delete this we don't want the blizzard UI let's try the quenching UI Oops. and this is the quenching UI as you can see it's closer to the original reforged UI but it's a lot smaller a lot neater and it's transparent but remember what I said about the inconsistency you know that not all the units have been completed you might still see some clipping in the unit portraits I, I don't have a good example here so what if you do not want to use the hd.bls shader because you feel that it makes everything look too dark I mean, that's the opinion I share as well. I'm not a fan of this hd.bls shader, but I'm forced to use it if I want a nice smaller UI. The problem is... Oop. Hang on. Malganis has something to say. Let me just skip this. Okay. So, the thing is, if you don't have the hd.bls shader, remember, you'll see that solid color background and it looks a little inconsistent. Which is why... We are going to download another mod, a UI edit that I did, that finds a nice balance in, in, in the sense that you still have a solid background color, but your portrait now has a frame. So here's how to do it. So the next mod we want to download is my personal quenching UI edits. Go ahead and download that. And once you've downloaded that, you should see the, the zip file, Ashfield's quenching UI edits. Go ahead and extract that. Copy the UI folder into retail. And, oh, right. This thing wasn't meant to be used with the HD shader. So I'm just gonna turn this off. Uh, and then also remember to delete the textures folder and delete units. So textures and units are gone. And then I can show you how it looks like. There we go. Uh, a nice compromise, don't you think? We have a smaller UI that doesn't take up as much screen space as the default uh, reforged UI. At the same time, it doesn't matter if there's clipping because, you know, it's kind of contained within a portrait frame. So it's not that big of an issue. So that was my solution to this. And of course, you know, different factions will have different skins. So let's do it for the orcs, for example. And there we go. That's the orc portrait frame. I mean, I know it's a little bit of self-praise here, but I think it looks nice. 
you know, with the nice skulls at the side nailed onto the wooden... Um, is it wooden? Or is that bone? You know, I think there's a wooden pike. Uh, let's see for the undead. For the undead, I put the skulls um, at the sides. Let me show you. And that's the undead one. With the skulls at the side and the claws coming in. And for the last one, Night Elves, I went a bit on the simpler side. I just used the leaves. There we go. For the Night Elves, I just added a wooden frame. So, I hope you guys like this one. <laughs> I sure enjoyed making it, despite it causing delays in the video, because a lot of these were <laughs> done by hand actually okay so that's all I have to say for the UI so all in all this video we have covered uh, the replacement for the terrain uh, and how to install the quenching shaders to give the nice look you want and the various types of quenching shaders you know, whether you want the foliage shader, which will give a nice ambient occlusion to the grass. Uh, and also how to install custom unit models. Whether you want to use the reforged models, the rebirth models, or the Warcraft 3 classic models. And also if you want to change the terrain to look like something a lot more simpler, a lot flatter. We've also gone through that as well. Uh, and... Last but not least, the UI changes if you want a nice, small UI that doesn't take up much screen space. With that being said, that is how you overhaul your graphics and maybe even gameplay of Warcraft 3 Reforged. And this also works perfectly well with Warcraft 3 Re-Reforged, the campaigns made by insane monster it works perfectly well there as well so with that being said that's all i have for this guide let me know if you have any questions thank you for watching